Hey, how what? do we make that look like this? We'll talk about it this week. Continue until morale improves. What? <laughs> Can't hear a thing. Yeah. So, just uh, basically doing rough steel, man. Uh, taking care of like the dents. This one was about three inches in when I started about an hour ago. Oh, wow. This was the impact point, so this is the last point to come out. Moving steel. Moving steel with your brains. Actually, no, I'm using air. Oh, and a hammer. Oh. So, what? this is a trick from the. Uh, paintless dent repair people. Um, as you well know, my skill set is whatever I really want it to be. <laughs> so I kept getting into with gears. I couldn't get into like, this is a double wall panel. Oh, yeah. And so I can't get in, in there right. and do it like traditional metal work. So with a combination of steel plates and anchor bars, I've actually made a back point in this where I can actually work the dent traditionally. Wow. So that's what I'm doing. That's kind of cool. It's taking a while. I've, we, uh, Superman's been in here training um, this week. Hey, Sue. He's actually uh, got a pretty good feel for it. So nice. if, if that makes any sense, he's uh, doing a little bit of welding of the stuff that we split and seal, which does happen here. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to start working some filler on the stuff that we've already got done. Okay. So by the end of the day, I should have this one wrapped up, and then I'm going to get into that other one on the quarter that he's welding on now. Okay. That one's going to be a nightmare. But I'm oh. still thinking about how to do it because there's just places I can't get to, and yeah. I, I'm going to have to get really, really creative with it. So. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Old way, it. old ways are the best ways. <laughs> so. All right. Well, let's see that's what that's what on. I'm doing. I'm going to go back to my beatings. All right. Mm -hmm. What else shall we see? There's a bunch. We There's need to see. We have something this guy right here. Yeah, the, the pink bus, known as the, as they affectionately call it, the Pepto, the Pepto bus. bus. It disembarked our area and went back towards Tennessee, where it was going. And they were doing a part tra driving, and part towing it type of deal. So um, it went left. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So. And there's still a work in progress. So they got to do a bunch of stuff to it, but we got it running and and stopping. And they were gonna they're gonna have to do a bunch from there. But anyway, so we got Riley, Miss Riley. I know yeah. it's going crazy. We got little things are still working out on hers. It's like um, got a little nitpicky things we're doing and we're testing, tuning it still. So we're we're getting close on that one though. Um, yeah, waiting on a couple parts still for her. Oh, yeah. Trying to do what I can. Black. Now the windows are in. Yeah. They finally got the windows in rolled up and everything. That was a big, big win because now it can go outside. That's a lovely So it was stuck in here because it had no windows. Right. So now it can go outside and hang out out there, which I'm probably going to let. I'm going to let it spend the night out there tonight, I think, because I love it so much. It's going to be a camp car. So anyways, other than that, it's got a couple little things we got to do. Yeah. Waiting on a, a wiper motor, which there's a lot into that. So when we get that, uh, it's coming from they're not available. Dot com. Oh. <laughs> well, we might have a guy on the West Coast that might have. I've one. already checked, but oh. yeah, they're, they're, Don, this particular one. one's one year only, and no bueno, no no likey likey. So, but anyways, there's really there's one out there. Cars, that's the you know, a driver needs to have a lot yeah, of so a that's really the only thing it needs, and then clean her up and send her on back to the house so it can go. Came not driving and not working, and it's going to go out driving. So hopefully, it's going to miss Bogan's car. Same deal. So we got all the lights working on her. I think it's unless we, no, we got to put a switch on there, a long switch. But anyways, um, got all the lights working on it, and so that was a big win in electrical. So now that's done. Uh, the seats will be next, and uh, it'll be pretty done. So we're really close. We're, it came in with Buick Riviera seats in it, so we're having to get actual seat frames. So that's kind of fun, some high back seat frames. But um. Uh, waiting on some parts, rest of the parts for Gazo. Like I said, we got it coming in. We got um, 
the gear, razor gear going, so it's underway. Um, he's picking a couple color options so that we can order the interior. Um, I got a wire harness coming for it, which was really hard to find. And then, because he wanted to go back with a traditional one, he didn't want to go Rebel, which we usually use, so he, uh, he wanted an old school fuse. Anyways, paint, uh, the top's going to get painted black, so we found out in doing research, he wanted to put it back kind of what it was, and this color was original, but it w there was option to do the top a different color. So we looked back, pre-65, the Razor Gears all came two-tone. After 65, apparently, late 65, it was an option, and there were several options. Okay. So this one came, this white, yeah. with a optional black top and teak interior. All so right. we're going back with a brownish interior. He might do the black top, and we're going okay. But anyways, so yeah, we had to do a little, since you got a rare car, we just want to start throwing paint and, yeah. and vinyl on it. So we, we, he wanted to go kind of back to where it was. So we got our, we got our gameplay, so we're going to go ahead and put it in a, to motion and get that going on. So uh, at least we're started on it. Yay. What happens seat-wise for this? Because like, well, he well, just put regular Gia seats? Those are his seats right there. He had the seats. Oh, okay. But so he didn't said, have the back seat. But yes, the back seat's a regular Gia uh, seat, So, which really is just a piece of wood with foam on it. So... <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna. He didn't have the back seat, so we're gonna use one and build it up. Okay. Uh, all new foam, all new that stuff. Oh, um, so so fine's doing the covers for us, and she they do a lot of Type 34 stuff. So it's door cards and all that, or specifically that oh, car. Yeah. And she has the whole set, the headliner on that. Oh, so that's she's probably the easiest part. Yeah, <laughs> so she's gonna make all that for us. Out here, we got Mrs. Cripes or the Cripes. I oh, keep saying Mrs. He's gonna drive it too, I'm sure. So it's it's got the body got mounted, and it's back on its own little wheels. Oh actually its own wheels and so now we're going to uh rebuild her so put her back together so the motor's going to go on the test stand today hopefully and get retuned up because it's been tuned it was sitting there waiting to go to the first original car so we'll have to go through it and retune it up and then throw it in there and then i got a bunch of stuff coming tomorrow um todd's putting a little stuff on like the speaker grills and the the uh glove box panel and the fuel door and the pedal assembly and all that and then i've got all its all its little pieces coming, all the knobs and this and that, and and the headliners ordered, and the carpet awesome kits bits. ordered, and the fender bolt kits are kind of all that stuff, and they just put it all together. Well, we hope so. Hope it drives away then. Yeah. Bits and bobs. Bits yeah. and bobs. <laughs> Someday I'd like to get it just like it's the VW factory, like it literally Wouldn't comes in in a cable on that side, yes. and then just goes drives out the other side. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, it would be. That'd yeah, be awesome. so. It kind of comes in on a tow truck on one side, <laughs> and then we drive out the other side of it. Yes. There's a lot of time. It's not like oh, the yeah. factory where they came right, in and they just got built and went right out the back door. Yeah, no, nope, yeah, not no. that fast, but we're getting there. Pause a moment at each but anyways, they're pretty happy about it. I, I, there was, and with them, you know, anybody has been following the story, their car was, you know, just disaster. But um, so every, not that I don't do this with everybody, but they spent so much money. I'm like. So I, any little thing before I do it, like we're on some cars, if I needed a five dollar gasket, I'd just get it. And right. then, but so I said, hey, there's a lot of little parts we're gonna be at this point now. Yeah. For instance, you have free cars. Do you want me to use the old door handles? Do you want me to use the old oh, yeah. side trim? Do you want me to use the old right. We've vans? Got some options. And so <laughs> they decided they want that all new. So now it makes it easier, because I was like, oh, I gotta oh, go out there right. trying to find the best one of those that don't break when you so, take it apart. Yeah, and that's not the normal thing where we've got like three donor cars. No, in car. <laughs> but in their, their deal, it was a special thing. They, they yeah. bought that, like we said, for six grand. We were just gonna put four right. pans on it and tune it up a little bit, and they were yeah. going to take it and then you know where it went from there so anyways just so, trying to help them out i mean just, you know so the moral of that story is really have a car classic car inspected before you buy it especially if you don't know anything about them yeah. have them done by they've learned a lot they went and bought two more and they they knew what they were That's doing good. this oh, time yeah. and they went and look because that body right there was good though. and we used that green body like he said i think yeah. he even said so we took pieces of parts off the, th the two cars the third car the only thing we used off the original car was the hood yeah. so because it was actually in better shape than any right other so and then he said that he did was miraculous it went smooth because the body panels were all pretty much straight and so he just didn't yeah. have to do a lot of beady 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 he just did a little that bit one of, that one moved really yeah quickly so the body shop. that's the good news for them it took three cars to get that but we we got it together um pretty quick so anyways yeah, and the nice thing is on this one the pan actually matches the car oh yay. yeah yeah it, it just worked out that way because otherwise we would have been giving you know doing the the, the title on because we legally cannot change a pan title right and we can't change a body title yeah so there are certain numbers that have to go with the car. So with that in mind, 
everything matches on the car. Oh, yeah, so. so we're good. Well, except for the motor, because the motor came with the original car, but it's the yeah, very it's correct the motor. motor. Yeah. But these numbers all match, yeah, that's so that's great. good. That's a good All the VIN tags match. What's this color called? Somebody was asking. Um, that's an L1. This is L... You asked me now, wouldn't 151, 155? I've got it. He'll get it for you while we're still talking. Yeah, He's yeah. got the code. It's an actual VW color. Okay. So they looked it up. What they wanted, if you look out there, they wanted something close to that. Yeah. That's not an original VW color, but they wanted a color like that. So we, they went and looked up the color. They picked it and looked at this the L codes. Prettier. Yeah, so, um, and this is an L. I want to say it's something. Let's see. Drum roll. L what? L50D. Sapphire blue. Sapphire blue. Yep. L50D. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Sapphire blue. So no, there, it was actually two, there, there, there were two L50 colors, but the D's oh. dignified size is the darker one. Yeah. Yeah. This is really cool. So they had picked both of them, and then we went with that. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, that's wow. that's where at the the um the one that was getting beady beady hammered beady beady. <laughs> that's obviously it's pan. Yeah. We got a lot of new parts for it. You see, we got. Brand new Willwood uh, calipers going on it, and that's Mr. Kevin's Cool Ride disc and discs, uh, Cool Ride Customs uh, disc cool kit. cool stop brake kit. There, or whatever that, he named that's it. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> it is. It's written right on the little nozzle yeah. right there. Yeah. Um, that's funny. And then that's a Willwood uh, dual piston setup. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Um, so, anyways. Going to be great. It's uh, it's well underway. It's not really in a hurry, as you saw. They're going to have that back there for a while, so it'll be a long time yeah. before we put the body back in. So we got all kinds of yeah, stuff. Body, it's, it's not going to clear the body shop until probably for a couple of weeks, and then the paint shop probably did about the same. Yeah. There's a lot of work in that car. Yeah. Well, there you go. Coming together, though. Yep. And it's a beautiful day to build some dubs. The yeah, doors open, and <laughs> here it is, uh, middle November. of middle of November. <laughs> Yesterday was 80 yeah, degrees. Like, yeah. 80 degrees yesterday here, okay. so for all you guys freezing up north, sorry. I'm sorry about that, but that's why we live in the south. We don't have any, our show just happened, and we had a good show, and I I, I guess it's not too early, but I just, I, today I got two calls asking about Bugapalooza, which was weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, because that's going to be a Bugapalooza? Yeah, that's, that's, be the next that's, that's the next one. That's, in, that's April, I don't remember what the date is. It's I know in, it's in April. Spring. It's the spring, yeah. first of the spring show, but yeah, two days show up there, so, so we will be there. Yeah. That's one of and, our uh, that's one of our main shows. That's what we consider our home show, other than what we do here. So, Aircool Customs will be here. But yeah, yeah. Uh, just there's two people called today and asked if we're here. I thought weird. that was weird, but yeah, cool. So whatever. Yeah. But yeah, we will be whenever we find out the exact date. We'll be there. Good. And uh, hopefully the weather is like this yeah. in yes. April spring April. because last year yeah, it snowed snow? in April on Saturday and then it was decent on Sunday. Yeah. That's so anyways, weird. we'll start plugging out when we know the dates and everything coming up. So, but other than that, we got a lot going on. There and is a lot. I think that's about it. We're still hiring. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it's time to do that thing now. Yeah. yeah. It's time to do the thing. Goodbye, nice, nice people. people.